In this video, I just want to give you guys a quick tip on your quarterbacks. They just updated uh, the AP abilities in Madden, making Escape Artist and Gunslinger both much, much more expensive. Now, Escape Artist is still arguably the most overpowered and dominant ability in the game. The ability to roll out and literally just do whatever you want, I think it's really, really huge. And so, you know, I'm, I'm not going to say that don't go Escape Artist. If, you, if you're running Escape Artist and you like it and you're good with it, keep doing that but if you don't uh run escape artists and you just want to run gunslinger or you want to be a pocket passer i want you to consider another ability that you might not have considered this year and that is uh the set feet lead ability so i'm going to show this on dan marino here this is the quarterback that i personally uh i personally use dan marino uh, he gets every theme team he gets hot route master and then i'm going to talk about two other abilities that he gets that are really important the first one is Long Range Deadeye. Now, Long Range Deadeye is kind of similar to Inside Deadeye uh, from last year. Basically, he gets perfect pass ac passing accuracy on all deep throws. Now, in my personal opinion, he's actually going to get perfect pass accuracy on every throw. Now, I can't back that up or prove it or whatever, but just trust me. Um, I think he's going to get perfect pass accuracy on every throw. He's at least definitely going to get perfect pass accuracy on crossers, corner routes, deep posts, deep streaks, fades, all of that stuff, he's going to be perfect for that. If you don't like this ability, then I would ask you to consider uh, the sideline deadeye ability. And the reason why is because most Madden offenses, their routes are going to be running to the sideline. Um, so I would really encourage you to consider uh, that. Now, Guys, again, real quick, if you want to learn all my offenses, you want to learn everything that I do in this game, I actually break down some of the top players in the world, and I also have all my own stuff over there on the Patreon. If you're not joined the Patreon yet, do that. It's just 10 bucks For 10 bucks a month, you get every ebook. We teach you how to use all of this stuff in actual practical game. We have film studies, all of that stuff. So if you want to get better, again, join the Patreon. There'll be a link in the description of the video. You can sign up for just $10, uh, for just $10 a month. Like I said, he gets Hot Route Master for 2 AP, Long Range Jedi for 1 AP, and then he gets this, uh, Set Feet Lead. Now, uh, Set Feet Lead, and, and here's the here's the key. There's a distinction between Pass Lead Elite and Set Feet Lead. If you take a look here, it says Increased Throw Power when Leading Bullet Passes with Set Feet. Over here, it says Increased Throw Power when Leading Bullet Passes. So the major distinction is that if you're rolling out of the pocket with set feet lead, you're not going to get a good, as good of a throw as if you are rolling out of the pocket and you throw with pass lead elite. Now, what I want to say about that is this. We talked about this a little bit last season, and some of you might already know, but if you were to use this ability, let me see if I can find it here. It might be on this tier slot or whatever, but it's the roaming deadeye ability. Now, roaming deadeye versus, versus uh, dashing deadeye. The major distinction was between those two abilities, roaming Deadeye was basically, as long as his feet were set out of the pocket, I don't know if Dan Marino gets it, um, it might be over here somewhere, but as long as um, his feet was like set out of the pocket with roaming Deadeye, he would be able to throw an accurate pass. However, um, if he had dashing Deadeye, if he was sprinting out of the pocket, then he could certainly uh, throw the accurate pass. Aaron Rodgers has that ability in regs, the roaming Deadeye. And the, the, what you would do with this is, essentially with roaming Deadeye, you would just roll out of the pocket and then you would throw it. Uh, but what you would do is stop holding the turbo as you go to throw it. And that allows you to throw with basically perfect quote unquote accuracy even though you have a roaming deadeye versus a dashing deadeye. So it saves you AP significantly to use set feet lead instead of pass lead elite. With pass lead elite, it's three AP. With set feet lead, it's only two AP. So I'm only spending five AP on my quarterback. And what that does for my lineup here, and I'm gonna explain all this with a with an escape artist here in just a second. Um, but what that does for my lineup, if we come over here uh, to my team, what you're going to notice is now I have um, 9 AP that I can spend on route running abilities. So if you take a look here, um, I'm actually running with Route Tech, Deep Out Elite. I've got Short Out, Mid Out, Deep Out on Percy Harvin. I've got Backfield Mismatch on Adrian Peterson. I've got Charlie Young with Deep Out. I've got Devin Hester with Deep Out. So the bottom line is 
I've got route running and catching abilities all across my field because I saved AP on my quarterback. Now, if this was Derrick Henry, for example, he would have Gunslinger and Escape Artist. You'd be at 12 to 13 AP before you even got to any of these route running abilities. Now, I'm not saying that Escape Artist, like I said, I, as I said in the beginning, Escape Artist is still arguably the best ability and the most dominant ability in this game. But if you're somebody that doesn't rely on rolling out of the pocket to be successful, I would really encourage you to consider set feet lead over the gunslinger because gunslinger I think is six or seven AP depending on the archetype and set feet lead is only two. So you save yourself four AP that you could then put on a Jerry Rice, for example, where you could get him with not only deep out of lead, but now he can get route tech or you could put some other route running abilities on him. Or you could put post ups on your on your line of scrimmage. You free up yourself some room to be able to do more with it. That being said, I also want to just quickly mention to you that I actually did switch my theme team. I was running a Cowboys theme team, but it's hard to ignore that the Seahawks 50 out of 50 is the best theme team in the game. I'm going to give you a quick rundown of that real quick while we're talking about Mutt. So what you have here is you have Jerry Rice, 99 speed, 99 route running, very, very good card. And then you also have uh, Percy Harvin, who also has 99 speed. Uh, with you know 90 plus route running across the board and then Devin Hester this was a card that um, was basically a, it wasn't a free card but um, you, you could do those solo challenges to get this up but basically he's 99 speed 95 95 95 and a route running archetype so you got three receivers and all of them are 99 speed and one of them is Jerry Rice which is like six foot two if you wanted to you could put a Calvin Johnson in there for example the other real key, I think a sleeper thing about the Seahawks theme team, Adrian Peterson gets to 97 speed on the Seattle theme team. I actually feel like he falls forward for me a lot. He's got that elusive back archetype. He can get back from this match for one AP. Then you've got over here this tight end that they have. And I think Vernon Davis has 95 speed. So, you know, he's he's not, you don't have to start this guy. He could just be a team, theme team, you know, guy. But it's not terrible. I actually find he's 6'4", which I like the height. He's also, you know, again, the, the route running. I would say his route running is a little lackluster. But other than that, he's been pretty good for me. But really the key to the theme team here is this guy right here. Uh, Sean Springs gets to 99 speed. So you have three 99 speed corners. You have Sean Springs at 99 speed. You have, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, DK Metcalf at 99 speed with all of the boosts that we can do. He's an absolute insane corner on this theme team. And then Richard Sherman is really the crown jewel of this at six foot three um, and 99 speed, 97 man, 98 zone, 96 press. So you have three corners that are 99 speed. <coughs> Excuse me. And then this guy right here, Shaq Griffin, um, you can get him up to 98 speed. With 96 zone, if he's just gonna play zone for you, you can put him out there. If he's if you're not if you're gonna man him up a lot, I probably wouldn't put him out there because he doesn't have the greatest man coverage. But still, 98 speed, man. He'll make he'll make some plays. And then obviously the cool part about this, and I haven't even got these guys powered up yet because I don't necessarily use them. But you can actually put Quandre Diggs and Jamal Adams all the way up. They're gonna be at about 95, 96 speed. Uh, you see here Taylor Mays, the full Taylor Mays. You know, with with the 97 speed, which he's going to be like that on any Kim. But then also, you've got pretty decent pass rushers with Dwight Freeney here. You're going to see that he's got great pass rush finesse moves. He's got 93 speed, so he's going to be able to kind of run down some of these quarterbacks. And then you've also got Clowney. Clowney's a little slow for me, um, so that's where you know I'm still actually rocking my Cowboys guys with Gregory and Parsons. Both of these guys are insanely effective. And then, you know, like I said, we've got these guys down in the in the sub linebacker positions. But the bottom line is I would consider switching to the Seahawks theme team, but I also wanted to quickly point out that if you're not using Sefi Lead yet, I've been using this for a really long time this year. And I've just been noticing that um, you can actually still do everything you can do with pass lead lead with set feet lead uh, with the gunslinger rise in AP. Uh, I think it makes a lot of sense if you're going to be a pocket passer uh, to consider shifting to set feet lead. Uh, I just think that makes a lot of sense. So anyways, thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. 
And if you want to get better at the game, check out the Patreon. Uh, the Patreon has all my ebooks, everything broken down over there. So if you want to get that, there's a link in the description below for just ten dollars a month. You're gonna unlock everything over there. You get all the stuff, all the ebooks, everything. You also get one-on-one -on -one messaging uh, with me, where you can ask your questions and all that stuff. So it's just the best way you can support me as a as a creator. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you want to join the Patreon, head on down to the description and click the link that I put down there for you.